Hello everyone, I'm the old guy and welcome to my let's play of Port Royale 2. This is the first episode and we're about to start a new game and in this series we're going to be playing the free play mode. In the last series I've done, we've gone through every single one of these missions and completed them and gone over all the basics of the game. So in this series we are going to go straight into the game this time. My name is already set up here, Turk Island is what I want. And the 5% more damage in sea battles if you command the battle yourself. This is what I want as well. And we're going to be starting off with normal assets. So let's get straight to it. Welcome. You begin your career in the Dutch town in the year 1600. Your convoy is in the port with an unarmed sloop. And your cash assets amount to the value displayed. You also have a permit to erect buildings and establish businesses and you already own a warehouse in the town. As you are young and inexperienced, you have only reached the rank of ship's boy. Therefore, you cannot yet command further convoys or buy additional building permits in another town. Your rank is determined by your total assets, which comprise cash and property and currently amount to the value displayed. You will reach the next rank as soon as your assets reach a certain level. Good luck. All right. The goal of this Let's Play is to see if I can set up a trading empire similar to my Season 2 Patrician 3 video. I want to see if we can actually set this up in this game. I don't think we can, however, because the captains here need four experience points before we can set up a trade route, automated trade route with them. So I'm not sure if that's going to be a big hurdle to cross setting up because I'm going to need a lot of ships with captains to pull this off. So for now, here's our ship and I'm going to start trading and raising our, raising our money and at the same time raising our experience and, and our captain skills. So let's get started here. Mostly I want to trade this big stuff. I'm going to start trading this. Until it reaches red. This is a really nice price here for this. There's a red there, red there. One more here. There we go. To the red. And I also want to trade in this area here as well. So let's trade a few of these. See if we can get a full... See if we can get a full ship here. Fifty-three. We are out of money. All right. So that's as much as we can do. Oh, we can pick up some more sailors here as well. Let's pick up these guys as well if we have the space. Okay, now we have a full ship. I know that there's some towns around here in this and some towns around here, and Port Royal is down here. So I'm gonna map all of this out and do some trading, and I'm gonna bring you back uh, to show you a few of these trades and if something changes. All right, I'm back, and we've got quite a bit of profit happening over here now. I did sell a bunch of this stuff here in the last town. I'll just show you here. I'm not gonna sell past a thousand. There we go, we've almost made our money back. And I've mapped out this little bit here. And we're gonna go to Port, Port Royal next. It's right over here. And I can continue trading. I'll bring it back when something changes. All right, this place has 28 soldiers. So we're gonna load as many as we can. And there is a shortage of settlers here in Santiago. So we're gonna go up there. Hopefully we can trade in some of these sailors. There are a hundred each. There we go. And now... Oh, I clicked on in here. We can still sell a little bit of this here too. There we are. And meat here as well. Let's sell a little bit of this. Perfect. 
So I'm going to be doing mostly that all across here. We're going to pick up some more sailors here. And I'll bring you back once something here changes. All right, I almost have an empty ship here and we're at 53,000 gold. Uh, we're back in Port Royal and I'm resupplying all of the goods that I like selling. These expensive items here, we're making quite a bit of money. So we're gonna continue this strategy. And let's pick up as many men as we can. We have war between England and France. We are still going around. We do have a, quite a nice stockpile of expensive luxury goods here. I'm going to start trading them up in this area this time. So I'll bring it back once something changes or uh, something interesting happens here. All right, I'm back. These guys need quite a bit of settlers here, about 53 of them. Let's go down to Port Royal and grab these settlers and bring them up there. Hopefully we can get there in time. We can control two captains and own one permit. We just leveled up. Let's grab as many settlers here as we can. As well as some of this cheap stuff here. A few of these more. We're at 60 again. Do they still need settlers up here? Let's drop these guys off. Anyways, we're continuing on our strategy here, and I'll bring it back when something changes. We got some good profit here. That's what I mean. We could make a lot of money selling these. And every time it's low in the 600 range, I buy it. Perfect. This here is looking pretty good. 360 is a nice price for anything that's in here. We're full up. All right, our captain has now reached the correct rank. We are going to uh, open up the C chart here, and I'm just going to trade around our local, our home base here. There we go just around here and we are going to just put on maintenance mode as well and we are going to go uh, active here in a second what I want to do though is buy another ship can we buy a ship here shipyard we don't want to frigate What has got the best hold? Let's pick up a sloop. There it is. All right, here is our ship. We're going to need a captain for him. Let's go into the inn and hire a captain here. We want it for the sloop. We're going to accept this. And this guy, we are going to activate. He's going to go off and do his thing. And we are going to continue trading with this one. Let's pick up a little bit of this. And this is too expensive here. Oh, we can pick up some people, though. Let's do that. right now is there anybody here that's short people there's short people up here so let's start moving up there let's see if we can grab this up here oh they need some people here too let's do that they need 30 workers here perfect
we can sell some of this here as well. All right, we have an empty ship. Let's go back to the Turk Islands and reload on the expensive stuff. We are making quite a bit of money. I'm going to fine tune this. I wanted to see how long it takes for me to level up this captain. He has two points here. Yeah, how, many, how long it takes to level this guy up. And then we'll start fine tuning these trade routes. Anyways, I'm going to continue trading like we have been and let that other ship run its course. And I'll bring it back when something changes here. A Spanish treasure fleet is moored in Vera Cruz. I want to go after this treasure ship. I've never actually sunk this uh, treasure fleet before. So I think that we're going to add that to our mission list. Alright, we've leveled up to Sailor. Let's see, can we do that? No, we still cannot uh, do another trade route. We're going to have to level this captain up a little bit more. But let's keep going. We're up here. We have 80,000. Alright, I'm sailing down over here to unlock some of these islands while we're at it. There is some great profit down here on these. We're almost ready to hit 100,000. Cheap prices here. Holy smokes, look at this. Red 60. That is really great prices there. Some great prices down here now. We're at 126,000. There is the treasure fleet right here. All right, we have an empty ship and we're back at Cartagena. Let's stock up on our good items here again. And this method is pretty easy. Just don't sell it unless it's a thousand and buy it when it's in the 600 range or lower. And it's pretty easy. This game is much more forgiving than Patrician 3. See this in the 600 range? We're going to buy some of this and stop when it hits 700. And then we'll sell it when this is at a thousand. Alright, we have an empty ship again. We have almost 150,000. We're almost at 200,000. Doing pretty good. We got an empty ship again. Let's load up on our supplies again here. <laughs> We can now control four captains and two permits. Let's take a look at our captain here. He is still needs two more experience points. This is what I'm worried about. I'm wondering if we're not going to be able to do it. Making money in this game is not very difficult. All right, we've hit the 200,000 mark, and we're going to call that an episode for today. We are going to continue leveling up our captain in the next episode. So thanks for stopping by and we'll see you soon.